the most difficult part for this chapter is that there are so many formulae. Which formulae are the most important? Here are the two most important formulae. The first one is the percentage change. Teachers always remind students about this formula. New minus old, then divided by old, times 100%. In Chinese, 新减旧，除旧，乘一百 percent. That is, new value minus original value, then divided by original value, times 100%. We will use this formula when we need to find the percentage change. From the original value and the new value. The second important formula is new value equals to original value times one plus percentage change. We will use this formula to find the original value from the new value, or vice versa, to find the new value from the original value. We can actually solve most of the problems in this chapter using these two formulae. Let's try out three examples. The first one: When fifteen increases to twenty-four, what is the percentage increase? Percentage increase is actually a kind of percentage change. We are going to use the first formula. We have to distinguish the original value and the new value first. Fifteen is the original value. Twenty-four is the new value. So the percentage change. Is equal to twenty-four minus fifteen. Over fifteen times one hundred percent. Then we have nine over fifteen times one hundred percent. The result is sixty percent. According to the question, we should answer the percentage increase. Is sixty percent. Next, part B. When twenty decreases to twelve, find the percentage decrease. Similarly, percentage decrease is also a kind of percentage change. Again, we use the first formula for calculation. Let's distinguish the original value and the new value. Twenty is the original value. Twelve is the new value. We can now calculate the percentage change. The percentage change is equal to twelve. Minus twenty over twenty times one hundred percent. We have negative eight over twenty times one hundred percent. The answer is negative forty percent. According to the question, we need to find the percentage decrease. We do not need the negative sign for percentage decrease. So the percentage decrease is forty percent. The next question is: When a number decreases by thirty percent, the new value is forty-nine. Find the original value. We are going to find the original value from the new value. We should use the second formula. New value is equal to original value times one plus percentage change. 
first we have to distinguish the numbers carefully from the question decreases by 30 percent so the percentage change is negative 30 percent the new value is 49 we have to find the original value first let n be the original value applying the formula we have 49 equals to n times 1 minus 30 percent we then have 49 equals to n times 0 0.7 so n equals 49 over 0 0.7 n equals 70 then we are finding the original value not n so we should write down the original value is 70 We can also use these two formulae to solve problems involving discount, gain, and loss. But first, we have to pair up the terms correctly with the formulae. Let's use this picture for easy understanding. C means cost price. M means marked price. S means selling price. D means discount, P or L means profit or loss. This arrow points from M to S. This means from the original value to the new value. The D means the change from M to S is called discount. This arrow points from C to S. Again, this means from the original value to the new value. The P or L means the change from C to S is called profit or loss. Let's have a look at this example. If the marked price is $200 and the selling price is $160, find the discount percent. As we have to find the percentage this time, we use the first formula. First, we have to pair up all the terms with this formula. The marked price 200 is M. The selling price 160 is S. The discount percent is D. According to this arrow, 200 is the original value. 160 is the new value. So the percentage change is equal to 160 minus 200 over 200 times 100 percent we then have negative 40 over 200 times 100 percent the result is negative 20 percent percentage change of negative 20 percent means the discount percent is 20 percent so we should write down the discount percent is 20%. The next question is, if the selling price is $150 and the profit percent is 20%, find the cost price. The selling price 150 is S. The profit percent 20% is P. We have to find the cost price C. 
as we need to find the original value. We use the second formula. According to this arrow, 150 is the new value. 20% is the percentage change. The cost price is the original value. We let C be the cost price. We then have 150 equals C times 1 plus 20%. 150 equals C times 1.2. So C equals 150 over 1.2. C equals 125. According to the question, we should write down the cost price is $125. Then, we are going to discuss some common mistakes. When using the formula of percentage change, one common mistake is putting the wrong values for the original value and the new value. We should not distinguish the original value and the new value by the magnitude of numbers only. Look at this question. When 16 decreases to 12, find the percentage decrease. Many students get used to subtract a small number from a large number. That is, write down 16 minus 12 over 12 times 100%. This is wrong! Take note that the original value is 16. The new value is 12. So the correct solution should be 12 minus 16 over 16 times 100%. We have to be careful about that. Another common mistake is some students cannot answer correctly to the question. Let's continue with the question. 12 minus 16 over 16 times 100%. This equals negative 4 over 16 times 100%. The result is negative 25%. That means the percentage change is negative 25%. Some students might think that the percentage decrease is also negative In fact, the negative sign means decrease. That's why the correct answer should be the percentage decrease is 25%. We must not write the negative sign in percentage decrease. The third common mistake is applying the formula in reverse order. Let's have a look at the question we solved earlier. When a number decreases by 30%, the new value is 49. Find the original value. Here is the method we used. Let n be the original value. n times 1 minus 30% is 49. Finally, we get the answer 70 by solving the equation. Some students might think that in reverse order. That is, if we consider 49 as the original value, we can find the answer by increasing the number by 30%. However, this is wrong. 
Let's try it out. 49 times 1 plus 30 percent. The result is 63.7, which is different from the correct answer 70. So remember that we cannot solve percentage problems in reverse order. Here is a trick. We have decreases by 30% in the question. Then there must be 1 minus 30% in the solution. 1 plus 30% should not appear.